forget to subscribe! Oh, the baby is hungry! Let's cook for the baby! Let's feed the baby a soft banana! Cut the banana! Put the banana in the baby fruit feeder! All done! <laughs> Let's eat the yummy food! Baby fruit feeder. All done. <laughs> Let's eat the yummy food. Banana in the baby fruit feeder. All done. <laughs> Let's eat the
the yummy food. Oh, the baby is hungry. Let's cook for the baby. Let's make some cheese snacks. in the microwave. Baby fruit feeder. All done. <laughs> Let's eat the yummy food. Baby fruit feeder. All done. <laughs> Let's eat the yummy food. Let's 
let's eat the yummy food. Our friends are lost in the maze. Which way do I have to go? Oh, someone help me! Take your friends out the exit. have all made it out of the maze. Whew, that was really scary. Thanks for saving me. Take your friends out the exit.
Yahoo! Yahoo! Our friends have all made it out of the maze. Whew, that was really scary. Thanks for saving me. Crumb, I'm so hungry. Crumb. Oh dear, I'll make you a large pizza. Find the ingredients for the recipe. <laughs> well done! Great! Amazing! Yay! Pour in the flour! some salt. Add the sugar. Add some oil to the pan. Pour the water. Mix them well. La 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 la. You can do it. <laughs> Let's make a soft dough. Net the dough. <laughs> well done. Wash the ingredients. <laughs> well done! Great! Amazing! Yay! Impressive! <laughs> Mushroom. Topping? Place the dough on the cutting board. Spread <laughs> the ketchup. Well done! Put the ingredients in. Thank you. 
Impressive! Shave the cheese. into the oven. <laughs> Tap the oven to cook the pizza. serving size. Wow! We made something delicious! <laughs> Give some to your friend! Now that I'm full. Krong. Oh, Krong, you should go home to sleep. Loopy and Petty were the closest sisters in the whole wide world. But the older sister, Loopy, had a special power. It was the ability to control ice. Petty, the younger sister, liked to play with the ice toys that Loopy made. <laughs> sister, you're the best! But one day, while they were playing together, <laughs> Loopy accidentally hurt Petty. <gasps> How could this happen? <laughs> it's because of me. Loopy was devastated. As night fell, Loopy secretly ran away from the village. I can't let the people I love get hurt because of me. I should fix up a place to live around here. Using her powers, Loopy made an incredible castle on top of the mountain. She also created a cute snowman. Meanwhile, Petty got better and went to look for Loopy by following her footprints. I must find my sister and bring her back home. Petty Hi. was up against a raging blizzard and a dangerous cliff. But she didn't give up looking for Loopy. <gasps> Where is she? Petty finally reached the ice castle. Loopy, I know you're here. Let's go back together. But Loopy said no and didn't come out of the castle. I'm sorry, Petty. I can't go back with you. Please go back. Eventually, Petty headed back home feeling discouraged. Loopy watched everything through the ice crystal. <laughs> Goodbye. Just then, a huge bear appeared in front of Petty. Roy! Loopy panicked and rushed out of the castle. 
Then she ran and froze the bear. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no! Loopy's magic froze Petty too! No! <laughs> Loopy was so sad that she cried and hot tears ran down her cheeks. But as the tears dropped onto Petty, something magical happened. The ice instantly melted away and flowers started to grow around them. With true love, Loopy gained the power to control both ice and warmth. Big sister, now let's go back, please. Oh, Petty. Loopy finally returned back to the village. And she lived down happily, using her powers to help her friends. <laughs> You're the best, Loopy. Once upon a time, a donkey named Bororo lived in a village. Bororo liked to play the trumpet. <laughs> this is fun! But Bororo's master didn't like Bororo's nature. You are such a lazy donkey. Leave at once. So Bororo got kicked out of his home. While wandering the streets, Bororo decided to act on his lifelong dream. I shall go to Bremen, the town of music, to become a great musician. On the way to Bremen, Bororo met a group of friends playing music. Eddie the dog, Krong the cat, and Harry the rooster. They were all animals that had been abandoned by their masters. Why don't you all come along to Bremen with me? Great! This should be exciting! Bororo headed to Bremen with his friends while playing music. <laughs> playing music together is so exciting! As the sun started to set, they looked around to find a place to rest. Look! The lights are on at that house over there! But actually, that was Tong Tong the thief's house. <laughs> I really like this jewel I stole. What shall we do? Bororo thought about it and decided to teach the thief a lesson. I've got a great idea! Not long after, a spooky laughter echoed from the darkness. <laughs> huh? Who... who... who is it? Bad thief! Bororo has come to punish you! <laughs> I'm Eddie, the worst villain alive! <laughs> I'm Krong, the giant beast! Krong! got scared and ran away. Wow! We did it! We really did it! The next day, 
The friends returned all the stolen goods back to the townspeople. Wow! Thank you. In return, we will build you a grand house. From then on, Kodoro and his friends held a concert every day in their new home. I'm so happy.